I um, was on tour in Australia, and it's like 10 a.m., and I'm supposed to play a show in Perth, Australia, and some dude is sitting down in like a suit, grilling me, like he's fucking hard. So he actually says to me, what the fuck you looking at? Long story short, I beat the shit out of this fucking guy in front of everybody and chased him from store to store like Leatherface. He was running for his fucking life. I ended up backing down like 10 of his peeps with just me and my boy Hyde. And they're like calling the police while we're like backing them down, you know. They had me arrested in the hotel room, missed my Perth show, cost me over $10,000, made the whole news in Australia. I mean, every news channel in Australia had American rapper <laughs> fucking attacks man and breaks jaw. <laughs> About seven months later, I'm home in Brooklyn and some dude from downtown Brooklyn comes out to my door with a subpoena for me to go to Australia because this dude's still suing me. <laughs> because he says he's getting nightmares that I gave him from the beating because he has brain damage. And literally just this week, we find out he got $30,000 from Australia because of the beating and now I'm okay now. I consider that one of my craziest stories.